From late spring through early fall, producers like Wayne Whitmore of Payne County truck their freshly picked products to farmers markets. This is probably our 28th year to go to farmers markets. And he keeps coming back, selling at six different farmers markets every week. Wayne grows a wide variety of vegetables and a lot more. We have about 20 to 22 acres in produce. We also have a cow herd, cow calf operation and run our cattle on wheat pasture and uh, grow traditional crops, soybeans and wheat and, and put up our own hay. And as for Wayne's favorites. I like growing sweet corn and also uh, green chilies. My passion is the green chilies. Another person with a passion for farming, this man, Edward Avalos. He is. Nice meeting you. Good to come over. Edward Avalos, a pleasure, Kim. He grew up on a farm and is now undersecretary for marketing and regulatory programs for the USDA. We caught up with him during a recent visit to Oklahoma to interact with producers. The information that you glean from these two days that you're here, and you have quite a schedule, <laughs> you get to see a lot of things. Will you then turn around and then take that back to Washington? Will that impact uh, policy eventually? Uh, absolutely. As the Undersecretary for Marketing and Regulatory Programs, in my mission area, our, uh, our focus is to facilitate production and marketing of agricultural products and livestock. And we deal everywhere from, from the producer all the way to the consumer. We deal with, with uh, shippers, packers, processors, uh, importers, exporters, wholesalers, uh, retailers. And of course, we deal a lot with farmers markets. And farmers markets like this one are seeing a resurgence in popularity. The Oklahoma Department of Agriculture, Food and Forestry lists nearly 75 registered farmers markets in the Oklahoma Grown Program. In fact, studies show the number of farmers markets tripled in our state between 2004 and 2011, which keeps Wayne Whitmore and his fellow farmers coming back here week after week during the growing season. It's a passion. There's a lot easier ways to make a living than what we do. It's a customer relationship we have started years ago and it just it uh, become contagious, I guess. It's